Welcome to today's episode of Tech Unraveled. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of large language models, or LLMs, and a groundbreaking tool called Garok that helps us understand and probe their vulnerabilities. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is Garok? Well, imagine you're trying to train a dog to perform tricks. You need to catch those moments when it messes up, not to reprimand it, but to understand what's going wrong and how to improve its training. Garrick works in a similar way, but instead of dogs, we're talking about LLMs. Garrick is essentially a vulnerability scanner for LLMs. It goes beyond just operating under the hood. It actually investigates how these models can fail in ways we don't want them to. Which leads me to an essential question. Why is this important? Think about it. LLMs are increasingly being integrated into various applications, from customer service bots to creative content generation. If they can hallucinate false information, leak private data, or generate toxic responses, that can be harmful. So ensuring their reliability and safety is critical. Garak probes LLMs to uncover weaknesses like hallucinations, essentially when an AI fabricates information. It also checks for things like data leakage and prompt injections, which can skew the responses generated. In essence, Garak combines static, dynamic, and adaptive probing techniques to investigate these vulnerabilities. For those of you who might be tech savvy, think of Garak as the Nmap of LLMs. You might know Nmap as a tool for network exploration and security auditing. The same principles apply here, but with a focus on language models. Now, how do you get started with Garak if you're intrigued? It's actually quite simple. A basic installation is available via pip, which is pretty standard in the Python ecosystem. You just run a simple command and voila, it's ready to roll. It's a command line tool designed for use in Linux and OS X environments. But let's pause for a moment here. You may be asking, what exactly does it look like in action? Picture this. With just a few commands, you can specify the model you want to assess and Garak will run various probes to analyze it. It even logs results for you. So at the end, you can see which actions failed and perhaps why. Here's a fun thought for you. Have you ever wondered how many prompts a single model can handle? With Garak, it defaults to generating 10 responses for each prompt you give it. When you look at the results, you'll see details like how many were acceptable versus how many fell into the failure category. Surprisingly, some models might perform well on certain prompts, but flop on others. And just to give you a glimpse of its versatility, Garak can probe a range of model types from Hugging Face's extensive hub to OpenAI's models, and even more. This flexibility means it's evolving quickly, which is both exciting and a bit mind-boggling in such a fast-paced field. As we dive deeper into the world of AI safety and security, I can't help but highlight the importance of community and collaboration in this space. Garak is open source, and its team encourages developers to contribute and enhance its functionality. Just think how refreshing that is in today's world of proprietary software. Before we wrap up, let's reflect briefly on the key insights we discussed. Garak serves as a vital tool for ensuring that LLMs operate safely and effectively by exposing their vulnerabilities. It uses a robust methodology for probing these models, logging its findings, and incorporating community collaboration. And the best part, it's completely free to use. So whether you're a developer, researcher, or just an AI enthusiast, I'd encourage you to give Garak a try. Dive in, explore, and perhaps even contribute. That's all for today's episode of Tech Unraveled. If you found this discussion enlightening, feel free to share it with friends or colleague at